Oh yeah, right in the waves. Got a barge coming and the waves are, it's getting super choppy out here. What's up guys? This is Jason with Ohio Valley Catfish. And in today's fishing video, I'm gonna be fishing from my kayak at a creek mouth on the Ohio River. And the goal for today is, it's about four o'clock right now. I'm gonna be fishing four to about 8.30 when, it, when uh, it gets dark. But the plan for today is I'm gonna have three rods, as you can see here, going for carp. And I'm gonna have two rods going for flathead catfish. And here's the bait that I'll be using. Okay, for carp, I'm gonna be using a mix of sweet corn, strawberry jello, and breadcrumbs. This is really good for carp. And I'm gonna be using method feeders. I don't know if you can see up there. Method feeders to chum the area and attract those carp. And then when they swim up, they'll just find my hook and gobble it up. Now, I'm going after flatheads tonight. I just caught these creek suckers uh, out of the creek um, earlier today. And I plan on cutting those up and using those for bait. So that's the setup for today. I'm anchored down right here. I also, I'm using my uh, kayak anchor pole because when you fish for carp, you want to keep your kayak or your boat, whatever you're using, very, very still. You want to give a little line too, because if it's moving, it's going to spook them and they're just going to swim off. So it's very important to keep your kayak still as you're fishing for carp. So I'm going to go ahead and get baits in the water and uh, see what the evening brings here at this creek mouth. Get the carp rigs ready to roll here. The thing is with the kayak, you don't have much room to work with, but at the same time, everything's here at your disposal. So it's not a bad system. I like the system. So this is a hair rig. As you can see the hook and the fake piece of sweet corn is down here at the bottom goes up to a swivel. I just went ahead and put a, a bead on it so it wouldn't affect the polymer knot any. And here's the method feeder. So I'm gonna take this jello mix. I'm gonna pack it in here and cast it out. And hopefully a carp comes by and gobbles it up. You're just gonna grab here, grab a nice handful, and just jam it in there. And guys, you can get this at any grocery store. Um, around here, we have Kroger's and uh, Walmart. You just go in and you get breadcrumbs. I use strawberry jello and sweet corn. You mix it all together. And that's what it looks like. Perfect. So, also too, a little extra here, a little extra flavor. I ordered this offline. You can see that right there, some tutti frutti extra flavor. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some some of that on here a little extra flavor pack that in and then right here i'm just going to dunk this in the bottle just like that plenty of flavor i'm going to do that to three rods and then we're just going to sit back and wait all right so Get this first one in the water. Okay. First one's in. 
And what I like to do is just give a little line out. Oh, nice. And you gotta loosen up your drag when you're trying to catch these things too. Because they will go. You don't want to break them off. Right out, right out there. Good. Add out some line. Just try not to get anything tangled. This guy. Just like that. He's coming right at me. You guys have a carp on. First carp of the evening. Just gonna go ahead and take care of this. Get back in my seat here. Yeah, the carp are starting to jump. What is it? Is that a carp or something else? That is a huge smallmouth bass, guys. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. Wow. Got him. Wow. That's probably like the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught. I wasn't expecting this guy. This is on a carp rig. So when I saw this guy jumping, I was like, what is going on here? But this is a huge smallmouth bass, probably one of the larger ones I've ever caught. So it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, hopefully I get a carp next. And a catfish. If I keep getting spun around here, it, it screws up my line. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back in the water. As I have a catfish on this rod to my right here, I'm just bring him up. I have bait out in front of me right now, but I'll do the best I can here. This is fish number two. Let's see what he is. I'm gonna guess a flathead. Yep, yeah, a little flathead. Let's see how he's hooked. I have to loosen this drag a little bit. Not that much, but all right, guys. A little flathead. Try to get him in the kayak here. First flathead for me this spring. So Excited about that. They're starting to pop up. I'm just going to get this stuff out of my way here. Put that there. Go ahead and get this guy in. i just probably grab this guy. He's hooked really well. This is off the... Creek chub. It's gonna be a little hard to get that bait back, but I think we'll get it back. A 
Got a bunch of carp food, carp bait on them. I'll clean them up a little bit. There. Nice little baby flathead. Not bad. Hopefully there'll be more of these tonight as the sun goes down. All right. Let's go ahead and get him back into the water. Oh, he wants to. He's ready. He's ready to go. See you later. All right. Got the bait back. There, guys, I got a carp on. I'm pulling some drag. He's swimming right at me now. I hope he doesn't get in my other line. These fish are fun to catch. They have good fight to them. They really do. They have good fight to them. I'm going to go ahead and sit back in my chair here. Goes. There we go. I'm we'll gonna try to get this guy landed. Turn that off. Yeah, alright. Nice. This might be a buffalo, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet. It's gonna wear him out a little bit. See what we got. I think that is a buffalo. Sure is. He is hooked right on the bottom lip. He's gonna be hard to get in here because I forgot my net at home, so yeah. This is where you can lose fish. Loosen up that drag some more. I just don't know how much he weighs. He's hooked really good. Oh, there we go. There he's in. He's in. Get the hook out of them here. That hair rig really did the trick. I actually got him in the bottom, very bottom below his lip. But yeah, guys, this is a buffalo, buffalo carp. Just gotta be real careful with him so he doesn't. So he doesn't flip around and flip out of the boat. Okay, sorry guys, the, the sun is right behind me. So, that's the best way we can do it. One more glance at him before we put him back in the water. I got that big smallmouth bass, that little flathead, and that huge buffalo carp, which I was happy with. The wind on the water right now is just getting too choppy. I wasn't expecting the wind to be this bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my anchor out and uh, head to shore. So, appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe to my channel, Ohio Valley Catfish. We'll catch you next time.